Hey everybody, welcome to Overkill Projects, or maybe I should say, welcome back to Overkill Projects. In the little more than a month since my last video, we have added a new member to our family, closed on a new house, and the entire world has descended into an apocalypse. But the world moves on, and now that I'm getting a little bit, a little bit more free time than I had before, I thought I would finally finish up, uh, you know, like the final word with the Sakani X60 and making the fan a little quieter on there. I tried a couple things uh, a few weeks ago, uh, and so we're going to be going over those today. So let's check it out. And before we get started, I just want to remind you that if you like this video, make sure you let me know by hitting the old thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe down below somewhere. Uh, check the comments for some details and links and stuff like that, and make sure you comment down below because I have been isolated from all of humanity for weeks now and I'd love to hear from you. If you have not seen my previous video about the Sakani X60, uh, I recommend taking a look at that real quick because I show you how to take it apart uh, and you know get access to the insides and also some of the quirks uh, about the light itself. So now my first idea was to replace the 12 volt fan uh, that's like native in the Sakani with a 24 volt fan. Uh, now replacing a 12 volt fan with a 24 volt fan means that the fan is going to run much more slowly. Uh, that's a good thing for noise, but it's a bad thing for airflow. So while I know that's gonna make for a quieter light, uh, we do have to make sure that there's still enough airflow to keep the light cool enough that we're not just gonna like break the light or blow out the electronics inside the light itself. And so in order to check that out, I put together a little uh, thermometer device using uh, like an Arduino Nano compatible board. Uh, it's called a Nucleo 32. I've worked with them in past videos. I'll link some in here. The idea is really simple. I used uh, a resistive device that's called an RTD uh, in order to measure the temperature inside the heat sink. It's the exact same method that the light uses to measure its own temperature which you know is displayed on the little LCD on the back. So I removed the case from the light and I ran the light with a 12 volt fan for about a half an hour to sort of get a baseline for you know what the temperature should be uh, inside the heatsink. And you can see here that after half an hour we hit about 45 degrees Celsius uh, and so that's gonna be our baseline and we're not gonna want to get too much hotter than that because you know too much hotter means we're gonna risk blowing out our LED. So now replacing the 12 volt fan with the 24 volt fan, uh, I can hear the difference right away. When I run this thing, I can't hear anything. In fact, the overall noise of the room is louder than the fan. But now after letting this setup run for another half an hour, we see that we end up getting uh, temperatures around 55 degrees Celsius. And now that's 10 degrees hotter than we were running before. In general, this probably is not a problem. Uh, unless you plan on running this light in an already warm environment and you plan on running it for a long period of time. But for people with use cases like mine, where I only run the light for 20 minutes or half an hour at a time in a climate controlled environment, this is probably the optimal fix. Uh, it's gonna make for an extremely quiet light without really you know, reducing the overall lifetime. So now the second idea that I had was to actually physically decouple the fan from the heat sink. So all that means is that I thought it would reduce the overall noise of the fan if I actually put something between the fan and the heat sink. You know, maybe there's some sort of vibration of the fan that's causing, you know, vibrations in the heat sink, uh, and that might amplify the overall noise and make this thing louder. So in order to implement this hack, I grabbed some nylon washers off of Amazon. They were super cheap. Uh, and I just throw them in between the fan and the heat sink. And now this is the 12 volt fan. But after putting this all together and turning it on, I gotta tell you, there's almost no difference in volume. And actually uh, recording the, uh, the fan noise before and after the nylon washers uh, pretty much proves that there's no real difference between uh, mechanically decoupling and not mechanically decoupling the fan. And I actually think that a lot of the fan noise is caused by the case. There's this sort of honeycomb shape where uh, the fan is located, and there's something about that shape or the way that it is designed that makes a lot of noise. I just happened to rest the fan on top of the case when I was doing this, uh, you know, just for a second, and just having the fan near the case made a lot of noise when the fan wasn't really hooked up to anything. So I, I think that this is an overall limitation, and I really don't think that with a 12 volt fan running at full RPMs, you know, at full speed, that you're really ever going to get a volume reduction out of this thing. And so that takes me to the last idea I had, which I'm not going to implement in this video. I'm just trying to keep it quick here. And I don't think that anybody would really, you know, bother doing this hack. 
but I tried just real quickly to put a, a resistor in series with the fan in order to eat up some of the voltage that comes out of the power supply on the fan. And so what this does is it reduces the overall voltage to the fan just a little bit, and in doing so, reduces the speed of the fan a little bit. And just a little bit of a reduction in fan speed causes a pretty large reduction in noise. So really, if you had the patience and you wanted sort of an optimal fix, something like this would be it. All right, and that's gonna do it for today. I just wanna do a quick video to cap off this whole Sakani madness uh, and give you guys some ideas on how to reduce the fan noise. Uh, if you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you did, make sure you leave me the old thumbs up, subscribe, uh, you know, check the, the description down below, comment, because I wanna hear from you. And in my next video, I think, you see how bushy I am up here? None of us can get haircuts. Maybe, just maybe, I'm going to try to do it myself. And if I do, I'll probably, record it and put it up here so that you guys have something to laugh at. So I will see you guys next time.